Allegations of sexual assault at an elite private school in Roland Park tonight. We have learned a 15-year-old is no longer enrolled in the school after being identified as a suspect. WJZ's live at French School on Charles Street. Ava Joy Burnett explains the case involves several students. Ava Joy. Vic, good evening to you. Three students came forward to say a classmate sexually assaulted them, and two of those cases allegedly happened here on school property. It's a prestigious private school in Baltimore's Roland Park, but on Tuesday, the focus shifted as police confirmed an unfolding investigation here at Friends School. This after three students came forward and said they'd been sexually assaulted by another student. Police say the suspect is 15 years old. Two of the assaults reportedly happened on campus and a third off school property. Police say all three victims are also 15 years old. None of the parties involved have been identified. WJZ has also heard from the state's attorney's office and they confirmed the juvenile suspect is now in custody. Friends School, founded in 1784 with an annual tuition as high as $28,000, prides itself in community and transparency, saying we're deeply saddened and disturbed that one of her students is alleged to have victimized three other students. When the school learned of these allegations, we immediately informed law enforcement authorities and have provided our full cooperation in their investigation. Officials say the suspect is no longer enrolled here and many in the community are standing by the school. Overall, as a parent, uh, what, what are your final words on how this was all handled? Of course, no parent wants to think that their children are faced with really complex and scary situations like this. Um, but I'm very, very pleased and it's confirmed my commitment to the school. The suspect has not been identified because that person is a minor. The school says they have reached out to a private investigator. Reporting live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Ava Joy, thank you. In a letter sent home to parents, the school explained the alleged incidents may have happened sometime between November and January.